Hey y'all, in this video, I'm going to give you a really quick Xcode tip how to handle your assets in your Xcode project a little bit better. But before we get started, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Eugene. I'm an iOS developer. I talk about iOS stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like the video. It really helps with YouTube algorithms. And uh, let's get started. So if you would like to follow along, create a Xcode project with Swift UI or UI kit, it really doesn't matter. So when you create your project, you probably notice that you have assets folder right there. And normally people would put their app icon, images, colors, whatever. And at some point, if you have a lot of assets, it becomes unmanageable and it's really hard to find your way around your assets. So at some point it becomes really inconvenient. So the solution to it is to add multiple asset folders. So you can do it easily. You can um, select file or you can select file in Xcode rather a uh, file and here you can uh, search for assets and uh, asset catalog. You can name it like color, colors. If you would like to store colors in there, you can add another asset catalog and you can call it images and you can create another asset catalog And you can call it assets um, user profile, asset user profile that you're going to use only for user profile. So now we have multiple asset catalog folder. Your Xcode bundle, your project bundle doesn't really care which folder you're using. It will search for an asset in your asset folders. So and you can create as many as you want and store your assets correctly. It will help you with your professional journey. If you already have a job and you didn't know about this feature in Xcode, so it will save you time in your uh, PR. So sometimes people might ask you to store separate assets separately. If you didn't know, don't get confused. This is how you do it. If you are looking for a job and if you are doing your take home assignment, separating your assets like that, it's a really, really nice touch and your interviewer most likely is going to notice that. So here's the tip. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you and let me know if you have any questions. Bye y'all.